Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use the new scan feature that was introduced in volume 3 of Silhouette Studio and I'm going to be using it to create die cuts for two of the stamps in this Think Happy stamp set and I'm going to be scanning the two clouds here. So first things first, I'm going to stamp the images onto a white piece of cardstock using uh, Versafine. It's a black ink that tends to stamp detail really well, so it works really good for um, stamping images you're going to scan. And it's really important that you get a clear image for the scan. So after I get this stamped out, I'm going to load it onto the scan bed of my printer and scan it into the computer. Once your Silhouette Studio software is open, you're going to go up to where it says File, and you're going to select Scan, and a new menu is going to populate on the right-hand side, and it's going to have your available scanners. In my case, I have two available, an Epson and an HP. I'm going to be using the Epson printer, so I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to select Start Scan. I've already placed the item that I've stamped into the scanner. So I'll get a dot, like a pop-up dialog. It's going to utilize your native scanning software. So unfortunately, it has to be compatible. It has to be a Twain uh, scanner, which most scanners are. I'm going to go ahead and select Scan. And after the scanner finishes warming up, and it usually only takes a minute or so with my my particular model, my Epson printer, it's going to scan the image that I've stamped and it's going to populate on the screen. Okay, so you can see the full 8.5 by 11 image that I've scanned. Now, I did scan or I did stamp each image twice because I didn't know how clean it was going to scan with this stuff in the center. So I'm going to use this one on the right because it looks a little bit clearer. Now, what I need to do is trace. And that's what really your, the purpose of the, you having the ability to scan is either so you can do print and cut or you can do trace. So I'm going to go ahead and trace by selecting um, the trace window in the top right hand corner, clicking select area, and then drawing a box. And I'm going to draw a box around both of these, but I think this top one is going to be a bit of a hot mess. Now I only want the outer edge, so I'm going to click trace outer edge, and now I can drag this away. Now, as predicted, this one's a little bit of a mess. So I'm going to right click on it, hit release compound path, and just delete this top one because that's going to be useless. Can get rid of that too. Now, this is it, the outline image of exactly what I scanned. I want to die cut around a stamp, or I want to stamp around it and have a little bit of a white border. So what I'm going to do is select this image and create an offset. Now, there's a shortcut to your offset feature down here in the bottom left hand corner because it says offset selected shape. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and you're going to see an offset shape just automatically pop up. You can adjust that in the flyout menu that's on the right. So I'm going to change it to corner because I like it to be nudged in. And I'm going to change the distance to 0 0.05 so it's really narrow. So it doesn't look like much, but when I stamp the image, when it's cut out, you'll see that it's a decent size border. So I'm going to take this away and delete it because I don't need this. And this is my die cut image to fit my shape. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and I'll show you what it looks like all stamped out. So here's what my cloud looks like all cut out. And I've actually already stamped the cloud image onto the imaging sheet from my stamp -a jig so I'm going to use a little bit of adhesive to attach this to my mat so it doesn't slip around. And stamp this out so you can see what it looks like. So that's the outline stamp. And I also have the solid image mounted onto the back. So I'll stamp that out as well. other stamped image from the stamp set. So I hope this video helped you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching.